You're now listening to The Shipper's Toolbox, presented by Refund Retriever. Hey guys, Brian from Refund Retriever, and today we're going to talk about FedEx termination fee provisions and FedEx agreements. So you, mu- you really have to understand what a FedEx termination fee provision is and how they affect your small parcel shipping. FedEx agreements are not easy to understand, so we're going to explore this fee this termination fee and some options if one is presented to you in a new FedEx agreement. So what is a FedEx termination fee? Early termination language is a contractual language that FedEx sometimes includes in aggressive pricing agreements. FedEx can assess an early termination fee if certain events occur due to the customer's action. The penalty fee could be a set dollar amount of a percentage of the yearly small parcel shipping spend. Basically, FedEx will reserve the right to assess this termination fee in the amount of whatever amount they say. For purposes of the agreement, the early termination fee shall be defined as the customer taking any of the following actions. So, terminating the contract before the latest end date of the pricing terms, which will be defined in the agreement. Transitioning 20% more of the volume from FedEx to a competitor before the end of the pricing terms, and that percentage can change. Or even sometimes we've seen them soliciting bids or pricing more than 60 days before the latest end date of the pricing. So even if if you go to UPS, USPS, or DHL to look for better rates, that's going to be a breach for FedEx and they could trigger this termination fee and get you. Pivoting your business to a different carrier or even the little regional carriers, they're going to be looking for that. And if it goes down, usually 20%, even 10% we've seen, they're going to get you. For example, say your company is shipping approximately a million dollars annually with FedEx. FedEx may offer you a revised agreement with some improved discounts. However, the improved discounts will often require you to commit to keeping your business with FedEx for two to three years. There's some drawbacks to this. There's some good things. You might get better rates, but there's also drawbacks. You know, shippers, they might not want to commit to this early termination fee for many reasons. It could restrict your options. That's number one. Operational issues are common and you may want to switch to another carrier because of just the operational issues that you come across with that FedEx account. UPS might be better in your area. You might have better UPS drivers. Who knows? But, you know, the early termination language will prevent you from changing and keeping a competitive advantage. So make sure whatever option you pick is right for your business. Carriers also change the application of accessorial fees and introduce new prices regularly. It could be a new application, a zone adjustment, or a new fee could just make what you're shipping unprofitable. For 2023, has a new domestic, uh, within the 48 United uh, States in the U.S., a new remote delivery area surcharge within the 48 states. This could really hit your business and you could have this early termination fee and you have no recourse. You have to keep shipping FedEx and getting hit with that $13.85 charge. You'll be bound to it if you have this. So there's some alternatives to early termination fees. Number one, try not to sign it. (laughs) Push back. Fight the provision, especially if you don't have that termination language in your current agreement. So the new one comes in, don't don't sign it. Push back. If you, especially if you have a long-standing relationship with FedEx, there's simply no reason to sign an early termination provision because of the partnership. They're basically that they're not trusting you. Also, you can ask the carrier to guarantee the rates will only increase by a certain amount each year. Instead of getting hit by that 6.9% price increase this year, if you have a early termination fee and you're going to be there for three years, have them limit their general rate increase each year to a certain percentage. So if you're a FedEx shipper and you have questions regarding a termination fee provision, you know, we'd be happy to discuss some strategies. Give us a call 800-441-8085 or check out our website, refundretriever.com. Thanks a lot. Thank you for joining us on the Shipper's Toolbox. If you have any questions, visit our website, refundretriever.com. Feel free to reach out to us, 800-441-8085 for anything related to your FedEx or UPS invoices. Have a great day.